escape the earth's gravitational field in approximately 1.110 to the power 6 cm per second about 7 mile per second at what temperature approximately will the root mean square velocity value of h2 be equal to the escape velocity where r is universal constant is equal to 8.3 into 10 to the power 7 arc per mole per degree at unit hydrogen equals to 1 so friends the problem so friends problem is root mean square problem so root mean square is equal to root over velocity square average so so friends root mean square chemistry problem but very interesting that's why i i now check check kinetic energy relationship relation shan ship is equal to pv bar pv bar means this is the v bar average is equal to one third m m v square is equal to two third kinetic energy and now pv bar is equal to is equal to rt this is the gas law and it is one third m u bar whole square so r is equal to universal gas constant at t for temperature so whatever we we see that v square is equal to 3 r t divided by m so v equals to we get root of r 3 r t divided by m m and temperature t equals to m v v square r m s divided by divided by 3 r okay m v square v v square r m s this is the r m s velocity this velocity is r m s so this is the 3 r and temperature m equal 2 g into mole mole per inverse because the m mass of the hydrogen and v square r m s is equal to is equal to 1.1 because escape velocity and roots mean square velocity is equal so it is 10 to the power 6 whole square because you see you check the problem what is the problem you check the problem is that escape velocity this escape velocity is equals to hydrogen equals to the escape velocity root mean square velocity is equals to escape velocity so i i am putting the velocity v square rms is equal to 1.1 10 to the power 6 whole square centimeter square into second to the power minus whole 2 into 3 into read part constant value 8.3 into 10 to the power 7 arcs arcs per mole into degree degree to the power minus 1 so i get the value equals to 2.42 divided by 24.9 into 10 to the power 5 it is 9.72 into 10 to the power 3 kelvin i hope i can clear this concept because kelvin is the temperature unit of the temperature i hope i can clear this concept friends and if any kind mistake please comment me thanks for watching